So these are the Kurutaki Cambio, as you can see here, and this is the Tambien Cambio range. So it's six colors, and I love this range. I've used this, I, I actually prototype tested this for Kurutaki. So I've used them for a very, very long time. Now I know some people would have a little bit of issue with them because they're not the easiest things to use if you don't know what you're doing. So let's start off with this. Actually, let's open. So I'm using the Canson marker pad because the paper is smoother, so you don't really want to use a rough paper. Of all of them, this is the one I love the most. It's the Chinese Vermilion. So you'll see there's a yellow band here and a yellow band there. You need to take this off and you need to take this off. You will not be reusing those things, so don't put them back on. Then you want to go screw that into the top until it snaps in place. The white filaments are really nice and clean. They are never going to be that clean again. Now, you have to be quite vigorous with your sort of getting this down. You can't squeeze the barrel because it's hard. So I'm just going to And you can see the color is really starting to come down into the, the feed. And of course, the next thing is to press. So you want to press and turn. So we need to get a little bit more color coming down. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing on the bristles. And this will draw the color down to the front. So I then clean this off because, I, you know, you make a real mess with it and always press and twist and pull so you have a really nice sharp point. The thing about brush pens, these filamented brush pens as I refer to them, anything that has man-made fibers I tend to call filaments, is you they tell you how big the brush writing can be. So if I did this, that's essentially a nib width. So this tells me that I can get away with writing at three to four nib widths. So now when I write with a brush, I hold the brush upright. I know lots of people tend to hold the tool on the side and they do this. This is not a really good way to use the brush because as it's coming around the corner, the bristles, the fiber, the filaments will twizzle around each other and you won't get a really nice, fine stroke. Now, they're also really good for brush writing. So if you wanted to get that kind of effect, they're really good for that kind of thing. You can mix the colors together, for instance, on a separate piece of, uh, of, of plastic, you can really sort of remember to press and pull to keep the filaments together. You could pick up some of that blue from there. And as it washes the blue out, you start to get some really lovely gradients. You can paint with these as well <clears throat> because the, the filaments are so large. Um, and they are, they're quite nice for lettering. 